everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making the eighth of the 31 um, Halloween recipes. Um, and so today's recipe is coming from the Ghostbusters cookbook. Today we are going to be making ghost bustin sweet potatoes, okay? So the first thing that you are going to want to do is basically chop up three, well you're going to peel first, peel three sweet potatoes and then cube them. So cut them into slices and then cut them into cubes. You're gonna bring a large pot of water to a boil um, and then add the sweet potatoes to it. And you're gonna kill, cook them, boil them basically for 16 to 18 minutes until they're fork tender. So in other words, a fork will stick through um, fairly easily, okay? Then once you get those done, you're gonna go ahead and drain them and put them in a bowl. Now I am gonna tell you that it says to use a, like an electric hand mixer. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do my handy dandy potato masher because I don't like using an electric. I think it makes a huge mess when you're making potatoes, okay? So also you are going to need a two quart pan, um, which I think this is a seven by 11 um, and you need to grease it. So I just sprayed it down with some spray oil. And then you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? So once you've done all that and you've got your potatoes in a bowl, you're gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, which I already have in here. You're also gonna add to this a fourth of a cup of heavy cream, which I forgot my one cup measuring cup here, there we go. So a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Okay. And then you're gonna add some brown sugar, which you're gonna need a half of a cup of packed brown sugar. Packed just means to really get it in there tight into the measuring cup. Okay, half of a cup. Then you're going to need a, let's see, a maple syrup. So you need two tablespoons of maple syrup. Uh-oh, oh there, I got it. Oh, scared myself for a minute. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get it open. Okay, so two tablespoons. So we've got one and two. And then also some vanilla, which you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, one teaspoon vanilla. Then a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Well, if I can get the lid back on the vanilla, that would help. Okay, so a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then, uh, let's see, is that it? Oh, and some salt. Okay, so you need a fourth of a teaspoon. It's supposed to be a kosher salt. I don't do the different versions of salt, I just use salt. Okay, so if you wanna do kosher salt, do kosher salt, it's up to you. All right, so now you can use a hand mixer for this and mix them up all together with the hand mixer. And do it that way, like I said, I just like to use my potato masher. Um, I just, it's less messy, less stuff to get out to. I don't have to get all this stuff out for my hand mixer and set it all up, plug it in. And, all of that and this mixes it just as well pretty much and i think kind of mashes them a little bit better so and without the huge mess of stuff spraying all over the place okay my granddaughter is playing on the screen door okay so there we go all mashed and ready to go okay so now what you're going to do is you are going to take this and put it in the pan uh, let's see. And then you're gonna sprinkle the top of it with some pecans, okay? So let me get this. Oh, and I need a spoon or something. All right, so you're just gonna put this in your pan. Spread this out. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, that was right in the way there. Okay. 
And then once you get them all spread out, you're gonna put them in the oven, or oh, we gotta sprinkle them with the pecans. So you need uh, if you, about a three fourths of a cup of chopped pecans to spread on the top. And I don't have a three fourths of a cup measuring cup in this set, so we're just gonna get a little bit less than a cup. And a pecan just hit the floor. Okay, so three fourths of a cup of chopped pecans. Yes, baby. Can I I don't think there's any ready, baby. Oh, okay. Well, you gotta ask Grandpa. I don't know. Okay, so you put your sprinkle it with chopped pecans, and then you're gonna put this in the oven and let it bake for about 20 minutes. Okay. Then once it comes out, what we're gonna do is you are gonna sprinkle the top of this with two cups of mini marshmallows, and then you're also going to put these little Stay Puff Marshmallow Man heads on top, which I'll be right back to kind of explain. Although, well, I'll tell you, let me pop this in, okay? Okay, so we got that in for 20 minutes. So now you're gonna put these little, you're supposed to make nine of these, I only made five. Um, and you can get a better explanation of how to do it on the mini puffed um, video that I have up, which is, it's in with the Halloween stuff as well. Um, so basically what you do is you take a regular size marshmallow, the, the big marshmallows, not the mini marshmallows, and you're just gonna cut like a third of it off. That's to kind of make this bottom part sticky so it'll stick to stuff, okay? So make sure you do this on like a piece of parchment paper. Then you can take some edible marker and just draw his face on. Then you're going to need some either like blue Laffy Taffy or I used Airheads because I couldn't find blue Taffy, okay? And you're just gonna roll that out a little bit and then you're gonna cut it with a little tiny circle um, cookie cutter or this is very small, probably like the smallest one I've seen, okay? And you're gonna cut a circle and that's gonna go on top of his head. And then you're gonna take a mini marshmallow and roll it out and put it on top of that blue circle. Okay, and then you just take a little tiny piece of fondant and make a little tag, tag or tab or whatever coming off of his hat with the red fondant. And that's it. So I only made five, you can make the nine if you want. So you're gonna spread the two cups of mini marshmallows on top and then place these in random places around. Okay, and there you have it. And then you can also, if you want, go ahead and torch a little bit of these, so like put some burn marks on them in places, and then even torch a little bit of the mini marshmallows, okay? Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. I think I have a candle torch, but I don't know if that'll do it or not. We'll find out. So I'll come back once the uh, casserole is ready, and then uh, we'll see if we can get these torched. I have no idea. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so our sweet potato is all done. And look at that. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our two cups of marshmallows, mini marshmallows on here. Try to kind of spread them out. Oops, we got a clump. Okay, spread them out here. And whether you made nine little Stay Puft marshmallow heads or five like I did. I don't know why I decided to make five, I just made five. You're just gonna randomly sit those around Okay, and then you got those little guys there. Aren't they cute? Look at that. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna try to see if we can get this to burn. Our nice little candle lighter here. Not sure if this is gonna work or not. Let's see. What does it do if you put it up there? Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna get hot. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look, there we go. Gotta blow it out, I almost forgot. Okay, so be very careful because they will light and then you gotta blow them out quick before they burn up. Okay. Try to just get some of them lit up here. There we go. I don't really like blow it on the thing, but you know, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do there. Okay, let's see. Get some of the uh, mini marshmallows done too here. Okay. You just kind of let it sit there for a minute. They'll light. 
Let it burn for a minute, blow it out. And then you've got some burnt marshmallows, scorched marshmallows, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Let's get this little guy here. All right, one more dude. And that'll be good for me. All right, you guys, so there we go. So now we got some scorched marshmallows. I might do a few more here as we go. But look at that, isn't it cute? And it smells delicious, you guys. When I took it out of the oven, I was like, mm, 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 that smells great. Okay, so let's get a spoon here and try this out and see how it tastes. All right, let's just get, we want, I'm gonna get a mini marshmallow with it. Get that out of there. Ooh, ooh, that sounds, smells almost just like pumpkin pie. All right, here we go. Make sure it's not too hot. Oh, I just lost my marshmallow. Mmm, that's delicious. Totally, totally delicious, you guys. Ooh, it really does kind of taste like pumpkin pie, even though it's sweet potatoes. It does remind me quite a bit of pumpkin pie. That's really good. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't if you don't. Everyone have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy, and we'll see you later.